Good morning. Welcome back to Go Soli. My name's Sophia. I'm getting an early start today because I'd like to show you some paper crafts. So as you might notice behind me, I have an owl mask made out of paper and I'd like to show you the general techniques for making these kinds of things. I don't own these. Uh, these are off of the internet and I'll link to them below, but the templates can be downloaded and you can use them however you wish. And then the dress on this mannequin I actually recently just made with my t-shirt scraps from the last video. Um, this is the Coral Bell Slip Dress from Mood Fabrics. It's a free pattern and I would highly recommend using it. The only changes that I made was I didn't use the covering on the top for each of those, you know, triangular chest pieces and it's t-shirt material. So give it a whirl. Um, it was very easy to do. It took me maybe two hours to do. So very easy beginner friendly project. Um, with that said, we're going to dive into paper today. So I'm going to show you the whole process for how to make your own paper craft mask. Okay, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a pattern from Lapa Studios. I've used them before in the past, so I really like their patterns. They're really easy to follow, and they also have so many beautiful different patterns to choose from, including these lampshades that I thought were really cool, and I'm definitely going to try them right after this tutorial. So for today's project, I wanted to go in more of a bunny rabbit theme. I've done the ram skull, the raven. I think I've done a jackalope by them as well. But for today, we're going to do the bunny rabbit so I can show you some intricacies with a template that's a little bit harder than the free templates you can find. Another site that I've used for paper crafts in the past, which has a lot of free patterns, is La Crafta. I think I've made their fish pattern before, but now I'm leaning towards wanting to try their astronaut helmet. And then there are these adorable social elephants that look like they're having a little party together, and I want to do those as well. So let me know if you give one of these a shot. And finally, I haven't used Ikogami before, but they do have some free patterns, so I thought I'd throw it out there. As well as Paper Shape, they don't have free patterns, but they have some very beautiful ones. A lot of imagination went into them, so they're also a really good place to explore. So I have my pattern here, and I'm going to print it out. And the only thing that I really want to show you here is to set it to custom scale in 100%. This is pretty standard for most paper craft companies, if not all of them, and it just ensures that everything prints out to scale so nothing runs over the page. At this stage, you're going to need some Elmer's glue and some cardstock paper. I've always used Astro Brights, and they have never let me down. It's time to paste our pages to the contact paper. So this step really reduces the amount of time that this is going to take you, but it does use a little bit more glue. So already I'm going rogue. I'm deviating from the pattern and the instructions here say to cut everything out individually and then paste them together or tape them together. We're going to go straight to gluing and I'll show you how to do that to avoid air bubbles and things like that. And that way you're going to get a nice strong glue and it'll help with the structure of the mask, but it's also going to reduce the amount of time it takes to build this because you're going to be cutting it out just once. So I'll show you how to do that. Take your piece of paper and flip it over, then make a zigzag shape with your glue. Take an old discarded gift card and run it over the glue to smoothen everything out. And then lay your cardstock down. Place your piece of paper on top and smooth it out going in a zigzag shape up the paper to make sure there are no air bubbles. Once you have several of your pages pasted down, start cutting them out. Give them a chance to be cut out before they dry because they will start to warp as they dry. And if that happens, no worries, we're going to treat that in just a second with our iron. And I'm just going to show you right here, we have these little dashed lines, which are your fold inward lines, and then your fold outward lines are these longer dashes. Once 
Once you have all of your pieces cut out, it's time to head over to the ironing board and using a very low setting, like a one or a two, iron over your pieces and it should flatten them right out. If you're worried about the ink bleeding at all, then just iron over the side that's not printed and you should be good to go. So at this stage, I like to start folding. I think the iron makes everything nice and rigid, so it's really easy to fold with your hands. And if I need a little help, I'll use my ruler, or I'll take my iron and actually press over the creases that I made to give them a little bit more of a strong edge. Are you ready to hot glue? I think we'll give this a time lapse and see how it goes. If you notice any weak spots or you just want to add a little bit more structure, you can reinforce some areas with some clear packaging tape. We're almost done! The last step is to fit a band around your head, glue it into place, add a couple pieces on either side of the band, and glue it to the front and back of your mask. Well, that's all folks. Thanks for joining me on this crafting tutorial. Please let me know if you try any of these for yourself and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.